We got a problem here in evolutionary theory. That is that if you have the stuff and they somehow replicate, the fact is you got to have information guiding the replication. Where does the information come from? Well, that is a huge problem for original life researchers. Assuming you have these prebiotic compounds, they now have to be converted into biomolecules that can carry out function. And all biomolecules are information laden. For example, proteins carry out virtually every activity in the cell, and they're made by linking together smaller molecules called amino acids. Kind of like putting together letters to make words, the cell puts together amino acids to make proteins. Well, the probability of hitting a functional protein through ran a random assemblage of amino acids is roughly one chance in 10 to the 75th power. It's just one protein? This is one protein. Uh, now, what does that probability mean? Well, if you assumed optimal conditions for the origin of life, where these amino acids could come together once per second, it would take 10 to the 23 years to have a 95% chance of giving, getting a single protein, but we're talking about maybe needing almost 2,000 proteins for life to emerge. Now, as Hugh has told us, the universe is 13.7 billion years in age, roughly 1.3 times 10 to the 10 years in age, meaning we've gone less than one trillionth of the time we need to produce even a single protein, let alone those 2,000 proteins that need to come together simultaneously for life to emerge. Hey, but my philosopher and theologian here, in light of what he's saying as a scientist, what do you make of the textbooks that we just held up where they say the most important concept in biology is evolution and uh, nothing in biology makes sense except in the light of evolution. Well, there are some very serious problems uh, of a statement like that. I mean, as Fuzz has pointed out numerous times, life appears suddenly. It, it appears in a complex form. Um, and in looking at that kind of statement about evolution, it would seem that the evidence runs against it rather than supporting it. Uh, from a logical point of view, it appears to be an assumption uh, rather than uh, the kind of conclusion you draw from uh, strong evidence.